Welcome to Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. This is Grand Arena, week three, matchup one. We're gonna try and go through this as quickly as we can. Our opponent this week is Norin Rad, the Silver Surfer. I did lose my matchup the last one uh, last week. He has broken my undefeated record that was going on since, I don't know, season seven or something. At some point in season seven. So we're gonna jump in here, break down the defense. The Jedi Knight Revan team is strong, but really that hurts him because it makes him have less options against my Grievous. We got a weak Geos team that doesn't have spy like we this is this is not a threat at all. Bosk, whatever. Uh, first order. Whatever. Over here on this bottom territory, we've got Padme without any relics. We've got a Night Sister team that can always be troublesome. And then this Rex Fives clones team. I haven't really plotted out a strategy, so I don't really know how I'm thinking about approaching these other than. Ooh, Actually, we're gonna. I want to do this. We're gonna bring in my Darth Revan against this team. And I think we're gonna leave Malik behind. This might be a mistake, but without relics and with a Gear Eleven Ahsoka. No Kenobi, I don't think I don't think there's any reason we need to be worried. That'll leave Malik for another team as long as this goes smoothly. And without being stuck uh, maybe we just take out Padme. Leave my HK alone. Uh oh. Alright, I'm misplaying this. Going after Padme is not the way to go. Did I mess this up? Are you kidding me? Alright, we needed a tank or we needed to not be dumb about this. All right. Not the way to start out a stream. Not a stream, a record. This complicates things. Okay, this is why going into these matchups without a plan is a mistake and dumb. I paused for a moment, came up with a strategy. Now we're gonna execute and hopefully not do any more dumb things. We are going to begin. Do I just wanna CLS this? No, no, we're, we, we made a plan for a reason, not to start second guessing it as soon as I hit record. We're just going to go with the reliable Jedi Knight Revan 
His Grievous isn't any good if I remember it correctly. I didn't double check this. So as long as he doesn't have a good Grievous, we're fine. Even if Grievous is on the back wall, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I don't think it was Relic. I really want to get my Django up to relics as soon as possible. One of the big reasons is I just want to have a better uh, Night Sister counter for 3v3 or another good, reliable Night Sister counter. Um, and my CLS will get better as I work for, towards the Jedi Knight Luke requirements. And also, I want. Uh, Django for Mon Mothma, as my last video was discussing, was I think Django is going to be the way to go when it comes to countering Mothma in the future. Oh, this Daka is... is why we brought Revan. I'm starting to think I'm putting too much on defense in 3v3. Because as I was laying out my strategy for these next several battles, I get really low on teams. And that's what messed me up last week. Really twice. I got away with it in one, in the second matchup, but in that final matchup, it cost me. Like, I'm not going to have an issue full clearing, but I, I could have issues one-shotting on that back wall, depending on what we find. Especially now that I've already made a dumb mistake. Okay. So I'm thinking here Sith. We're going to be bringing in Savage Lead. For the that back off ma back up massive hit, we're gonna have Malak leading this, and we're gonna bring in Sith Trooper. I just put the Zade on him last time, brought him up to gear ten. He's more here for insurance and just to play around with him, and also to work towards that uh, that uh, advantage feat. Since I don't have good first order left on offense for to. Uh, keep with first uh, the Sith Trooper. We do have to worry about that big hit from Rex. 
But I don't think it's, it's not going to be enough to take out Malik. It could take out somebody else. What is... Oh, we're just going to keep going after fives. Yeah, see, that was why I was not concerned about this gear 12 uh, Rex. We just got it. And as soon as we take care of fives, we're good. All right. The reason we brought in the other Sith is because I have a gear 12 Malik, and just in case it took too long and Rex was able to keep ramping up that damage. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be using Treya. Hopefully because uh, if they have preloaded turn meter, this isn't going to be a problem. I don't think it should be since there isn't a general Kenobi. And they're not relic With Geos, since there isn't Spy on, okay, just a second. Since there isn't a Spy on that Geos team, I'm not really worried about it. It's Sunfak and Soldier. All right. I should have left Nihilus off of this. Nihilus was not needed. Since he's here. I just need to get my nest relic up so I can just nest Padme. Alright, let's check out this back wall, see if we're in trouble. The Grievous we were a little worried about, but here's... Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. He's not even gear 12. I think we can shock T. We might be able to shock T. Shock team might be reckless. It's tempting though. Okay, we are going to have to use gas here up against Revan. What, do, where, what are my options here? So the 501st. Are they going to get through? Yeah, we're going to have to do this. I'm going to double check my Galactic Republic options. We're going to bring in R2. I want to keep the clones. I want to keep the clones for other matchups. The extra stats from R2 are going to make 
gas beefier and should handle, should slow down what we have here. And hopefully Revan targets perfect. It's a useless mark. I'm gonna start putting the armor shreds on Kenobi. Come on. No, we gotta go after Revan. Come on. Just take out Revan. So we still have Geos, Bosque, First Order, we're just going to JTR the First Order. They can always be annoying if you run out of teams, which was shown multiple times last week. Not multiple, it was shown in once. I think the 9.2.2, you can see what happens if you don't have teams that can handle the Kylos. And how many attempts it took me to get through them. Contributions. Yeah, why not? Good.
Have I done an Illuminated Destiny yet? Yeah, I had to have done one, okay. I just kind of zone out in some of these match matches that you have these go-to counters with that you've done a thousand times. So again, we've got a Grievous that I'm thinking about Shock T. We have an Ewoks team that is nothing. We have Django, which we always got to be a little careful about. And we have this nonsense Darth Maul team. Which we can look at. We're just going to nest the Ewoks. We might... I might seal less Grievous. So we got a weird evasion team with Darth Maul and Django. I think we we might Rex Django. Or Shock T Django. Oh, we also have Bosk. Maybe we Rex Bosk. Alright, so we're either going to take CLS just because he can pound so much damage in. Or, we just shock T with Echo, and honestly probably Fives. I just feel more comfortable with CLS. Relic Han just is the best security blanket. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's, it, it might be my favorite relic. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, relic your grievous, otherwise he's trash. Just, we're just gonna nest these guys, let's not overthink this. There's even Elder here. What am I doing? I'm just gonna hit auto. I've only within like the past month or two brought my nest up to gear 12. A gear 11 nest on offense can still do a ton of damage and handles Ewoks no problem. But there's just so much 
more that opens up with a relic nest that after I had accomplished other milestones, it was time to start bringing up some really good characters uh, up to gear 12 and relics. do something like this. This might be dumb. But without Spy, without the other hits, they're not gonna... they shouldn't do the damage quickly enough to take out Thrawn. I can fracture the Brood and then Darth Vader can just put on those dots. Wampa will be countering putting days down. Oh, it's not even so it was Poggle, right? It's, yeah, there's just not there there isn't the damage here to be scared. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Should have done that other ability. Just don't die, Wampa. here come on get that come on land that ability block finally okay this might go poorly yeah, I need this relic. And it's over. Okay. Worth a shot. Now means what am I gonna bring up against them? Wait a second. Chango. This might be where I use my Rex. Oh, I forgot about this Django. Where are we on teams? The 
are running low. So four teams, Bosk, Geos, Django with Nest, and Darth Maul. We're basically down to my own Django. We also have Mando there with Or Singh. We could separate those two. We could keep Django with Separatists. We have my own Rex team. We have a Shock T team. This Finn with Resistance Heroes team. We've got Old Republic, but they barely count. So we've got like four ish teams. Really, we need something that can handle the geos. You know, finish relicking my Vader. Relic Vader would have handled that. Or faster Wampa. If I could have gotten Wampa, I just never had a chance to get Wampa's protection up. I, what I should have done, I should have swapped turn meter with Wampa to make sure Wampa got the protection up. Then I would have lost Wampa, and he would have, he, that could have kept working. We're going to use Aura Singh against Bosk. We got Aura Singh. We have Mando. This is a little risky because we, we could lose somebody. I don't want to use Django here. But honestly, Django's probably the better option. We're going to risk it. I'm going to bring in Cad Bane. It might be a mistake, but... I, I like to err on the side of control, and his irresistible stun, I think, is going to be what makes, what is going to help me a lot out here. Django has a stagger in terms of control. Yeah, this is... Just tenacity is too high on Dengar. Go the basic at the turn meter. We're gonna lose Cad Bane before he ever gets to use his. Oh, come on! Yeah, we're not gonna do it. Yeah. Still don't have the gear where I need to get Django to work. Or I should bring in a tank. Not Django, Mando. In my last video, I geared them up a little bit, but not where they needed to be. Okay, and my other option then... We 
can do separatist, this lead. Increased offense. best team at this point other, other than Rex. Rex I'm going to have to bring up against Bosk. I still need to adjust the Geos. Yeah, we got problems. just going to we're just going to do this the evasion might get it super annoying Yeah, that's right, the vision up. Yeah, this is going to be an annoying one. Save that until the dazes are gone. Should have saved that until people were stealthed. God, he's got the Zeta on here, right? Is, are these, can these, can they not deal with the Zeta? I'm, how many armor shreds do I need to stack before they can deal with the Zeta? Oh my God. The Zeta hasn't been relevant in forever. And are you missing armor shreds? All right, we're hitting auto because shreds he would have been taken out right then if mission would have just used their basic oh my god that was for a team to be right. 
I've always had fond memories of that Zeta from two years ago. <laughs> okay. So Shakti, Django, Rex. That's what we're dealing with. And the reality is the Geos are the hardest team. Not really the hardest. I'm so tempted to try and use Watt in like B2 against against those geos I just want to use Rex against Bosk because I know it's going to work and we'll deal with whatever problems we have left else, elsewhere And we'll use Clone Sergeant so that Echo and Arc can be the Shock T. I just want to be done with Mando so I can use him. Reliably. I'm basically just waiting for the Rexalate. Prefer not to lose. Okay. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't want to lose Rex if I don't have to. Stay alive a little bit longer. Next turn. Next turn. Yes. Okay. Shakti does have
Yeah, this is bad. Special damage, inflict daze, stagger. I'd rather have the stun. I'd rather have the stun. Okay. What do I get here? The problem here is if I do this, even though I want to dispel, Nest is going to take him out. We got to do this. I'm going to taunt. Here, let's see if we can get Days on Nest. Perfect. Now we can use this ability. Oh, I should have hit Nest. This is why I love new kits. This is why I prioritize gearing these guys up quickly. New kits, even at lower gear, work. And they're gear 11 now, but I like new kits. I just gotta deal with this Geo's team. I seriously have nothing left. What's my empire look like? I'm gonna try something dumb. This is dumb. This isn't going to work. It would be really nice to take somebody out. No, okay. That's over. <laughs> See, the question here... Is do I bring in Pago or do I do I just put in B2? The extra offense is nice, but I'd rather have a tank. I just want the I can put the protection up. They're just going to go through it so fast. And Do I want the offense or B2? This decision here will determine whether or not I, I come through. We're going to go with the tank.
Okay. It would have been nice to get that other mod. Yeah, it's all over now. Yeah, it's all over. Doesn't matter. I can't believe this. <laughs> Geos have never beaten me. <laughs> I didn't take them seriously because they didn't have spy or soldier or anyone. I don't think I have anything. I got cocky with Geos. You know what, I, this is, this is going to irritate me. This is the one, right? If this takes out somebody, <laughs> no, anyone but him. This is a disaster. You could have hit anybody. Ridiculous. <laughs> this is all goes back to the original sin. This is so dumb. What if I do this? Let's see if by some miracle this works. Vandor, you gotta get, you know, I need it up now. Ugh, never mind. I guess he should be super fast so he can get, he needs that to, that protection up. He needs the prepare to happen immediately. Really that team needs to be 5v5 because with L3 there would have been, L3 would have had um, the, the pre taunt We're just going to use all of our teams.
I can't believe this. Okay, important lesson. Just because your, t your opponent has put down a bad Geos team doesn't mean you can't take it seriously. I treated it like a joke. Felt like I could have brought other teams up against it, and that was wrong. We're going to call it, that's my most embarrassing video yet. So be safe out there, everyone. Some best wishes to Jaron Jackson Jr. Very exciting player on the Memphis Grizzlies, the basketball nerds favorite team at this moment with Ja Morant, with Brandon Clark, and with Jaron Jackson. He has torn his meniscus and with that has made me extremely sad. This has been Still Plays Galaxy of Heroes. Be excellent to each other.